Hello everyone. Today I have a review of The Archive by Victoria Schwab. The Archive tells the story of Mackenzie Bishop, who is a keeper for the Archive, which essentially is a giant library of dead people, and dead people are called histories, and only librarians can read them and sort of like see their pasts and that kind of thing. And so Mackenzie's job as a keeper is to prevent histories from escaping the Archive, or if they escape the Archive, from getting from that this like in-between world to the real world. And so at the start of the book, Mackenzie and her family move to a new town, and they take over a new apartment building, like a coffee shop thing that her mom wants to run, because her little brother has passed away in like a freak car accident, which is really unfortunate. And so the book sort of talks about kind of Mackenzie's transition and meeting some new people, as well as there's kind of this like mystery surrounding her new apartment building, um, as well as some sort of influx of histories escaping in her particular area, and so it's kind of about solving the mystery as well as sort of helping Mackenzie try to get over her brother's death. I don't want to say get over. So the cool thing about this book is that, or at least something that I thought was cool and hopefully is very intentional by Victoria Schwab, is the book's like tone has is very melancholy. And you think that might be a negative, but it's actually really cool considering the state of mind that Mackenzie is in throughout most of the novel, of where she's really sad and upset about her brother passing away. And I thought it was like a really nice touch, and I thought it really added some richness to the story. Um, I also really like Mackenzie generally because she's really bold and brash and she kind of just does things, she's sort of reckless. She has to lie to her family about her, why she's, you know, gone for periods of time and they don't know about the archive and things like that and she's, like, she's so uncomfortable with that and I just thought that was kind of interesting from a character perspective. She has a lot of really good traits that make her feel like a real person and not <laughs> just like a two-dimensional character. I feel like I said that in a lot of my videos, but maybe that's just because I've been reading like good books. I don't know. But I like that that is a big thing for her is that she doesn't really like lying and she has to do it because she has to. So as part of being a keeper, they wear these like rings and the rings sort of block out like the world around them because when people like touch her, she can really feel and see them and like read the living people. Um, and so the cool thing I like is how Victoria describes a lot of the people, like, whenever Mackenzie accidentally kind of, like, touches people or brushes with them, like, for example, one of the other characters in the book, Wes, um, sounds like a rock concert, and it's, like, really descriptive in how she says that, and I think it's interesting, it's, like, a new, it's, like, little character details that you wouldn't really get any other way, and I thought that's kind of a cool way to sort of see a character from, like, the inside, if that sort of makes sense. But speaking of which, Wes, <laughs> Mr. Guyliner, he has a great secondary side whatever character. He's just a lot of fun. He's got a great personality. He's a great character. I just, I really enjoyed Wes as a person. He was always fun to read in the book. And I also liked that he sort of was the lightness to Mackenzie's darkness. And normally I feel like it's the other way around. You always have like the dark and brooding dude and then like, you know, the happy cheery girl. So I like that also that was sort of a switch. Oh, this book has a lot of twists and turns and I had a whole plot in my head figured out for how it was going to go and how it was going to end and that was not what happened. So I guess it's always good when you get a good twist. I kind of wish that with this book that there had been a little more world building. I understand to a certain extent there isn't a lot of world building because um, it sort of just comes up as like the plot progresses. You get to learn little bits and pieces and it's important that you don't know everything about the world right at the beginning. But I just sort of wish that there had been more I don't know, more depth. I wish I had knew more about Mackenzie's past, or more about her parents, or more about Wes, or just more about the archive in general. There is a sequel of sorts to the archive, so I'm hoping that um, The Unbound, also by Patricia Bob, has a little bit more of the world building aspect in it. Like, how did this world come to exist? Why is there an archive? Why is there the Narrows? What is, like, that sort of stuff. I'm interested to in seeing more details about the world. I mean, it's still, you know, dark books are okay. There's just parts of this book that get kind of, they get a little dark, and you're a little, like, upset, and it's not, like, upset, but it's, it's a little dark. It gets a little, there's little parts that are a little scary, a little thrillery, which is kind of cool. Um, this one's not really a negative, but it's, like, an in-between positive negative for me. So I gave The Archive by Victoria Schwab a four out of five stars on Goodreads. It was actually really fun. It was definitely really different. I liked that about it. It was a very different YA book in terms of setting and plot and characters and stuff like that. So yeah, I highly recommend you check it out. So if you read the archive, I'd love to hear your thoughts about it, or if you read The Unbound, you can put some thoughts in there. Although, please, no spoilers, as always. Um, I hope you guys are having a great day, a great evening, whatever time you seem to watch this video. And I'll see you next time with a new video. Thanks. Bye. People, basically, essentially. Oh!